Alright guys, let's be honest. Modern YouTube, it's getting kind of stale, you know? With the classic new show videos, the Mr. Beast style, and the poppy subtitles. I think it's time to change it up. I have a simple thing you can do to make your videos stand out and look more professional. That's right, people. Say it with me. C. G. I. You know that scary thing companies sink hundreds of millions of dollars into? Well, we can do it too. Remember, if you're a beginner, start easy. Don't try to make the most insane VFX shot of all time, because it's just going to lead to a massive headache that can easily be avoided. You know, start with a basic scene. I'm going to use one of the world's largest pizza, and I'm going to use Blender and DaVinci Resolve, but DaVinci Resolve isn't necessary. First, start a Blender. Open the movie clip editor and drag in your clips. Hit set scene frames and prefetch. Now our timeline is the length of our video. Now hit detect features. This finds points in your video to track. You can adjust this slider to change how many tracking points there are. Now hit Ctrl T to track forward and watch the magic happen. If some of your tracking points get lost, just hit detect features again on any frame of the video and hit Ctrl T to track forward. Once you have all your tracking points, go into the solve tab and click keyframe and solve camera motion. After it's done, a number should show up in the top corner. This is the solve error. Ideally, we want this to be as low as we can get it, but anything below 1 is pretty good. We can use this to delete points with a high solve error. After you input a value, just delete all your selected trackers and solve camera motion again. Once you have a little solve error, go into the solve tab and click Setup Tracking Scene at the bottom. You can divide your screen in half by going up to the corner of the viewport and dragging down. Set this to the 3D viewport. Now go here and enable motion tracking to see your trackers in 3D space. Select three points on the ground and hit Floor. This creates a plane on the floor that matches the floor of our video. Now our ground plane matches the floor in the video and everything lines up. First set the render engine to cycles if you haven't already. I started by recreating my room in 3D space and set it to a shadow catcher by going to object properties and under visibility selecting shadow catcher. Now add whatever you want to the scene. I added these massive pizza boxes in the corner. To make the lighting more realistic, go to the world tab and click on the circle next to color. Select environment texture. Now import a still frame of the video and it acts as what's called an HDRI and casts realistic lighting onto the models. To hide the HDRI from view, go to the Render Properties tab, then Film, then Check Transparent. Now it's time to render the model. Put each model into its own collection by selecting it in the scene outline and hitting M. I put my pizza boxes in one collection and my shadow catcher in another. Now create a new folder on your desktop and name it to whatever object you want to render first. Go to the Output Properties tab and select that folder as your render path. I'm going to render them out as PNG sequences. Go back up to your scene overview and deselect anything you don't want to be in your first render pass. Once all your other configurations are correct, hit Ctrl F12. After that finishes, repeat the last couple steps for the shadow catcher and render that. Once everything is rendered out, let's hop into DaVinci Resolve. The first thing you want to do is go to the Edit tab and right click and create a new timeline. Make sure it has all the same settings as your original clip. Now on the Effects tab, grab a Fusion composition and drag it to the timeline. Now go to the Fusion tab. Drag your clean plate on and connect it to the media out. I want to rename it using F2. Select all the PNGs in your render output folder and drag them in as well. Drag in both the asset and the shadow catcher. Now connect the first shadow catcher to the clean plate head and it should create a merge node. Then do it one more time. I also rendered this little infographic scene to help fill the video the same way as I did with the pizza boxes. You can add a color corrector node by hitting control space. If you go here and enable the color inspector you can view the colors as RGB values. To make our CG objects look real, let's compare their colors to similar ones and adjust the gamma to change the brightness. You can also mess around with some other color settings if you want. But after that, I think we're done. Also, before you render, don't forget to change the length of your fusion composition to match your clip. But that's pretty much it. This video took a while to make, so subscribe if you want to see more tutorials. Also, join my Discord server if you have any questions. And I'll see you later. I'm only